Yes, hello everyone. John CG is here. As you remember, guys, this is the one we left off from the first chapter. We modeled this character, and what we're gonna do now is do the retopology. And first thing uh, uh, we're gonna start is on this body. So what I'm doing here, I just duplicate it and let's reduce the polycount of this one. We will use this flagging uh, decimation master. It's come from Shebras and I choose 75k for this one. Uh, you can take it a little bit lower but this one number it's okay for me. So it's doing another thing. Let's wait for it. And after this one, uh, we're gonna export this one into Maya and we will do the retopology on Maya, yes. And basically, uh, I will not do the, what you call this one, the manual retopology. I have a tutorial for this one. If you can see this one on the link, this one. I did the manually. So right now, we will doing the, what we call this one, uh, we will use a wrap program okay so in here we will match the baseness to our uh, high poly model this is not uh, essential but uh, as they said on here on wrap at least they match a little bit they must so what i'm doing that it's you know uh, i'm trying to match our our baseness to our high poly so we'll export it okay we are here in wrap and we import our object by doing so it's right clicking save load and load geometry and do the same thing one for the highness okay and you can rename this one whatever you want let's say this one is baseness and let's do this one for for the highness okay and then uh, let's load another uh, yeah yeah I need to load this one here. okay so let's just our basements this is our low poly and right now this is our decimated object uh, the high poly one and these two we need to connect them by doing right clicking again and then choose uh, select endpoints okay and by connecting this is by clicking once let go of click let go the mouse button okay and then just move your mouse then click the connect button so that's the way how we do this one and and now what we're doing here is to, to add points okay so Okay, so what I'm doing here it's adding points on both low mass and high mass. Okay, the goal here is to make sure that you are accurate. You wanna uh, you wanna make it sure that the corresponding number that you have set for a part of this low mass it's also the same in the high mass. Okay, take note that one. And okay, so let's continue con continue adding points.
Okay, after all the points laid out, we'll add a wrapping note and then let's connect our low mess and high mess and select wrapping node and then press compute okay oh as you can see i forgot to add points on the fingers so we need to fix that uh, go back to those select point pairs node and let's add a point on the fingers okay so let's do that And after that one, let's do the wrapping again and let's compute and let's see what we got. And I hope this time we get better. Yeah, okay, so um, there's a little bit uh, weird on the ear, even here on the arm. Also on the finger, so we can uh, fix that one by adding a node. And we add a node, uh, what we call this one, uh, press node, yeah? Yeah, so we need to relax uh, those weird things. Uh, actually, we can do this one on zebras, but uh, I'm planning to fix this one here on uh, wrap. So I will try to adjust those brushes, the sizes, and strength. So let's do this one, and also the the project brush, as you can see here. No. So let's continue fixing those weird areas. And anyway, we will do uh, we'll fix this one also later on zebras when we do the projection from our high poly to this uh, low mass okay. So let's continue fixing this.
Okay, after all the fixing is done, we need to export our geometry, okay? But we need, before we do that, we need uh, one more node called Save Geometry, okay? We need to connect this one, the brass node to our geometry. And what else we, got? we need to do? Uh, we need to specify where we want to save it, okay? And to do, do, do. need to save this one, and I call this one Retopo, and press Compute. Okay, so we need we have an error here. Okay, the problem is that on the brass node we forgot to press the apply button. So, which means we need to apply those changes we made. Okay, so on the save node, let's press compute again. And now it's working.